Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Okay, cool. So today, we are going to be jumping into Grand MA3. I've never done a Grand MA3 video before, and people have been asking for it. So let's get straight into it. Today, we're going to be doing the extreme, extreme basics. We're going to be learning how to load in show files, make show files, save show files, back them up, whatever. What you're going to do first of all, when you load into MA3, you'll get a page similar to this. Right, what you're going to do is on the left hand side, there is the setting cog. You're going to click on that and this menu is going to pop up. In the bottom left hand corner, you're going to click on backup. For the rest of this video, we're going to be using this page from now onwards, right? And you've got all the options already here. Load, new show file, save as, save to internal and delete. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a brand new show file. So we're going to click on new show over here and immediately it's going to prompt you to like type in the name and you can immediately re rename this. So I'm going to just rename this to YouTube for this particular tutorial. And in the right bottom hand side over here, you can select different options of what you want the show file to do. If you want, when you load it in, if you want to clear the show data from the previous show, uh, if you want to clear local settings, output stations, clear DMX protocols. If you're using this in the same venue, just click clear show data and then you can just make a new show. And then it will save all of your DMX protocols and whatnot else. All of those settings will be the same. Okay, so now that we've made our YouTube show file, what we're going to do next is we're going to save our YouTube show file. Let's say you have set up your fixture list and whatnot else, maybe you've done a bit of programming, you need to save your show file so you don't lose this thing. All you're gonna do is gonna click on the save as button over here, and then it will prompt you to type in your name, and then you can just save it, and then you've got a set show file right there. You can also select save to internal, and then it'll just automatically save. And as always, what you can do is if you come over here and click on the settings cog, double tap, it'll automatically save the show file. Okay, so now that we've saved our show file, I need to go back to the previous show file for whatever reason. What we're gonna do is gonna click on load, and then you're gonna select the show file that you want. I'm particularly gonna select the test show file that I had originally. Then I can click on load, and from there, we have loaded back into the test show file. Again, you can check, you can check this at the top here where it says test. You can check it over here, it says test. And you can check it over here, it says test. You're in the test show file, you have changed your show file. Now let's say all of a sudden you want to delete your show file that you have made in the past. All you're going to do is click on delete. You're going to click on the show file that you want to delete. And then in the bottom right hand corner, there is the delete button. All you're going to do is you're to click on that. And then it'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete the following show files? You would click OK, but in this circumstance, I am going to keep it just for the future of Grand MA3 videos that I'll be making. Obviously, I could just be to make a new one, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to cancel it for now. With that being said, if you enjoy this Grand MA3 video, and you want to see more, then go ahead and leave a like, comment down below exactly what you see in Grand MA3 or other pieces of software. And I'll see you all in the next one.